These actions are desperate attempts by desperate adversaries. Now at 11, national security threat with voting already underway in the election less than two weeks away. Top national security officials are issuing a warning about foreign countries trying to meddle in the 2020 election. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson in for Colleen Williams. And I'm Chuck Henry. That interference includes threatening emails meant to intimidate voters. NBC4's Robert Kavasik is following this developing story from our newsroom. Robert? Chuck and Carolyn, and we do have late word from the White House tonight, a statement that reads, in part because of the great work of our law enforcement agencies we have stopped an attempt by America's adversaries to undermine our elections this comes after an evening news conference where two of the nation's top intelligence officials announced foreign meddling by Iran and Russia in the 2020 election we have confirmed that some voter registration information has been obtained by Iran and separately by Russia the president's director of national security did not release details, but NBC News is reporting tonight that Iran sent intimidating emails to Democratic voters posing as members of the far-right Proud Boys. Those emails were faked to stir unrest. These actions are desperate attempts by desperate adversaries. President Trump courting voters in battleground North Carolina this evening, downplaying Russian interference in the last election. Remember I said, Russia, 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 if you're listening, please give us whatever it was, Hillary's emails or whatever. And they said he was asking Russia for help. These people are sick. No response yet from the Biden camp to the FBI announcement as the race for the White House heads into the final stretch with renewed concerns that foreign countries are hoping to undermine trust in the outcome no matter who wins. We've been working for years as a community to build resilience in our election infrastructure, and today that infrastructure remains resilient. Our NBC4i team has been in touch with local FBI agents who tell us they have been monitoring reported threats regarding the election for months now. The allegations of foreign interference sure to bring fresh urgency to questions over election security when two candidates square off in the final presidential debate come tomorrow night. Up in our newsroom, I'm Robert Kavasik.